A levered delayed blowback system uses a principle of mechanical disadvantage between a bolt and bolt carrier to prevent the bolt from opening too quickly without actually having a locking system. In principle, levered delay is applicable to a wide variety of firearms, however, only a relatively small number have ever made it into mass production. The basic premise is that you have a bolt, a bolt carrier, and an accelerator lever interacting between the two. The accelerator lever is effectively fixed to the bolt, and it has two fulcrum arms. It has a short arm that interfaces with the receiver, and it has a long arm that interfaces with the bolt carrier. When the gun is fired, the bolt is all the way back, the accelerator lever is locked into the receiver, and as the entire system begins to attempt to move backward under recoil, these arms are locked into an element in the receiver, which forces the bolt carrier to move a much greater distance than the bolt moves. This is the principle of mechanical disadvantage. And what it means is that the amount of energy required to move this bolt uh, carrier is much greater than it would be if force were acting directly on the bolt carrier. The lower fulcrum arm of the accelerator lever remains locked in the receiver until the bolt carrier has moved a substantial distance, much farther than the distance that the bolt itself has moved during that same time. This ensures that the bolt, that the cartridge remained in the chamber long enough for pressure to drop to a safe level. Thus, as the bolt carrier begins to move, the bolt remains virtually entirely closed, thus safely containing pressure from firing. Note how far open the uh, fulcrum lever requires the bolt carrier to go before the bolt itself starts moving here. We have another example of this type of bolt here from a submachine gun. Uh, instead of having a bolt carrier, so to speak, on this uh, design, there is simply an additional weight here on the rear half of the bolt. Once again, it is uh, put together with an accelerator lever, a fulcrum lever, with a short arm into the receiver and a longer arm into the rear half of the bolt. This effectively magnifies the weight of the rear part of the bolt, allowing the system to operate safely with less weight than would be required for a strict blowback system. The potential to reduce the weight of the moving parts does come at a cost. That cost is relatively high extraction pressure. In higher pressure cartridges using the levered delay system, there is often a requirement to use some other mechanism uh, to facilitate extraction, in this case a fluted chamber. Hopefully this has answered some of your questions about levered delay blowback. I'm Ian McCollum for Forgotten Weapons. Thanks for watching.